Okay, here's my happy little diagram I drew. All right. So, like I said, we're going to discuss why you would bother shooting an azimuth, even you can see if you can see your target. Two reasons. All right. First off. Let's say you're here in this little tiny hilltop, and here's this big ridge with the big radio tower that we were talking about. And it's a thousand meters away, or more, two thousand, doesn't matter, but it's a long way away. Alright? You might not even know how long it is, you just know it's there. You want to walk there. Okay? Um, you get up your yacht your compass, you shoot your azimuth using the center hold or the compass cheek method. Uh, preferably if it's over a thousand meters you would use compass to cheek because it's more accurate but if it's less than a thousand meters and you have good visibility maybe you'll just use a center hole but anyway you decide that 29,000 degrees is a direction to that compass now let's say you start walking and even during the daylight you can still see that compass or sorry you can still see that tower what happens if it gets dark and you don't want to stop Okay, if you don't shoot that that degrees, that azimuth, you won't be able to continue walking in the same azimuth. So you need to know that azimuth, and hopefully you have a luminescent compass that you can look at in the dark, that'll glow in the dark, or one that you can at least shine a flashlight on, so you can continue to constantly walk uh, 29 degrees to get to that target, because you can't see it in the dark. Or even if it's foggy storm rolls in so the third second reason I just invented one how about that the fog or inclement weather comes in it's overcast you're in a whiteout whatever you whatever you have you have all right you can't see it after you start walking okay because let's say you're on that open plains and there's nothing in your way you, that ridge is out there but if if cloud cover comes in or haze comes in you just lost your visual now you need to rely on that compass and if you didn't shoot an azimuth before you left and you didn't continue on that azimuth and constantly check yourself you're not going to be able to walk directly to that target all right we will go over in another later video uh night land navigation by the way just in case you're wondering how you would do this at night next scenario number three obviously you're on top of a hill and the and the radio towers on top of another hill. You've got a little valley or some kind of low land in between. Okay? This valley's got trees in it. Alright? Yeah, you can see that plain as day. It might be noon and you might say, okay, cool, I know I can walk that distance by the time it's dark. It's clear out, not a cloud in the sky. Alright? Nothing can stop. Perfect day. Beautiful day to be a survivor. Alright? You don't shoot your compass, but you say, hey I see that target over there I'm just gonna walk that direction you take off you get down into here next thing you know obviously this drawing's not the scale you're down here in this in this low ground in this valley and there's trees covering brush and all that boom and now you cannot see your target for however much distance this is you're in the thick woods unless you were to beat bush out back back up here or just keep on pushing and hoping you're going the right direction you know if it gets dark wire in there something happens you can't get out you just completely disorient yourself and you won't hit that target because you did not shoot that 29 degree azimuth the importance for shooting that azimuth is so when you are standing here and you can see your target you know okay as long as I'm walking on this 29 degree azimuth without deviating left or right I'm going to hit my target so as you walk down here, oh, there's trees I can't see. But I know since I left and I, I checked right here, you know, this is 200 meters away. I rechecked and I'm still heading 29 degrees. So I kept on going, oh, now I can't see my target. Let me whip out my compass. I know I've been heading the right direction. You can even shoot a back azimuth. Remember I told you, before you move out, you should always take a back azimuth, right? So you know what direction you came from, or what direction to head back to where you came. You can turn around with your compass. Oh, I can see that point up here in the mountains that I started on, so I know I'm lined up with it. So I know I'm still in line. Let me whip out my compass, because I can't see my target. And now what you're going to do is you're going to keep walking at 29 degrees, checking your compass every so, so often. Or if you fall down, deviate, have to go around something, rechecking. 
until you get up here all right and now you're like oh wow look at that it came out of the woods yay it came out of the woods and there's my target now i can continue walking up to there okay so that's the importance of shooting your azimuth even if you can see the target it's because there's going to be multiple scenarios that are going to involve you not being able to see that target and if you're down in here and you're just guessing oh i know i'm walking this way well let's say here's the one ridge line here's the ridge line you're on okay here's the tower yes i like colors here's you this is a thousand meters distance but let's just say this valley goes for miles and it's all trees all right it's all trees you get down in this valley dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, you start seeing oh okay as long as i push this way i know i'm gonna go all right, you don't have your compass, you didn't shoot an azimuth, so you don't know. Okay, fine and dandy. If you keep pushing that direction, that same azimuth, you will get there. But you don't have a compass, you can't tell you what azimuth you're facing. So you're walking, you go around a big log, oh, there's a little creek. Now I gotta go over here and get over this creek. Oh, I fell down, got this in it. Started walking this way, oh, nope, go back here this way. Now there's another big boulder, oh, oh, big bear, gotta run, gotta run. All right, now you're way over here. All right, you're not going on your asthma. Whereas if you shot that 29 degree asthma before you left, you can walk down, can't see my target, reshoot my 29 degree asthma, keep on walking, stop every 50 meters or whatever, shoot it, okay, I'm still heading the right way. Even if you fall and stumble, boom, you fall and stumble. You might be 10 feet, you slid down a little hill 10 feet. Well, guess what? You pick up, walk back up to where you fell from. All right, or you can reshoot that asthma anyway and just remember you're 10 feet off to the right or left and you'll still get to that target so that's the importance of shooting an azimuth regardless of the situation you're in regardless of visibility and we went over the two methods of how to do that which is to compass the cheek which is more accurate because the more accurate you are for this distance the more likely you haven't differentiated all right whereas the, the chest the center hold method is less accurate by just slightly off for further distance you go okay um, so anyway this is a, a video on how to shoot an azimuth um, the next video we should be going off over is a uh, uh, getting into pace counting and also uh, azimuth you know differentials and azimuth and things that you could do to correct yourself and to uh, get around obstacles will be some of the videos coming up next so i hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something from it. I hope it was a refresher for those that have been following this. I uh, haven't touched this for, you know, 20, 30, 40 years, however. Um, and I hope that those who never touched a compass, uh, I hope that you listened to my first two introductions and uh, took some of that advice if you're going out to buy a compass. And uh, I hope that you're paying attention to this so that way we can make sure that you are prepared to use your equipment before you go out and try to use it or before you go out and you have to use it to save your life. I'm sorry I'm speaking earthwalk primitive thank you.